Now, this pandemic has affected the school year for many students, teachers, and parents. School facilities remain closed for the end of April. So what is the Department of Education's plan moving forward? Joining us on the phone to answer that and much more is Dr. Christina Kishimoto, Superintendent of the Department of Education. Good morning, Dr. Kishimoto. Good morning, Ross. Thanks for having me. First off, can you tell us about some of the remote learning innovation and initiatives that are going on right now? Sure. Uh, you know, we have 13,000 teachers and then we have support staff members working together, uh, delivering uh, instruction online, uh, delivering packets. We've distributed uh, devices to students and, and teachers to make sure we can stay connected with our 180,000 plus students across the state. So we're doing as much enrichment uh, education online and then having to do some in paper packets. Now, we all believe that no child should go hungry. Can you tell us about your grab and go program and some of the new sites that have been added? Oh, absolutely. Our uh, food service workers are also very busily working. We have uh, 40 school sites that already are up and running. We're adding uh, eight to 10 more this week. We served to almost 50,000 students uh, last week alone. We're serving any child under the age of 18. We're not asking for ID, but it is uh, food for children. We also have lots of community partners, whether it's uh, through our uh, mayors and nonprofits and other organizations who are providing food security for adults while we're serving children. We're really appreciative of, of our over 200 employees who are providing food these days. Also, what kind of support are in place for homeless students? So we have, uh, you know, homeless, uh, community homeless concern liaisons uh, throughout the state. We have a program that uh, partners up our employees who are liaisons with other uh, nonprofit agencies. As we hear of needs, uh, we are connecting them with uh, things like mobile hygiene program, you know, to provide showers and other just basic needs. We're delivering food. We're delivering instructional packets to them. We're keeping track of them. We have nearly 3,000 uh, students that are uh, uh, non-sheltered or have alternative shelters in place to support them. And so we keep track of all 3,000 of these students throughout our state. And Dr. Kishimoto, anything else you want to add? Because I know a lot of parents and Students are concerned that, am I going to be able to graduate, especially the seniors on time and the commencement ceremonies? Yes, Ross, this is a great question because we have 10,000 students who are eligible for uh, graduation this year. We are working out a program uh, to graduate all 10,000. Uh, we're in partnership with the University of Hawaii, who is also helping with transition. Uh, the Board of Education is meeting tomorrow. I am putting before them a request to allow me to use or, or to have a waiver on graduation requirements for this year. That doesn't mean we're lowering our standards. It means that we have to just deliver instruction differently. Uh, we'll have uh, uh, most of our students graduated on time. We'll have a few students that will need additional time to meet requirement. And so we'll be extending services for them throughout the summer to make sure every child is going to college, to work, or to the military of those 10,000 eligible graduates. All right, there you have it, Dr. Christina Kishimoto, Superintendent of the Department of Education. We appreciate your time as well as some great information and updating our viewers. Thank you, Ross. 740 now, and a mandatory two-week quarantine for inter-island travelers is now underway across the state. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live.